What's going on, you guys? Mr. Dibble Dork here. Uh, I got another truck update for you guys. Uh, ignore all the mess, but you yeah, don't really see an engine around here except for over there. That's the old one. And that's because it is now in here, all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, ignore all the smoke. We're just uh, just looking at all the coolant and all that stuff. And it's just kind of overspraying a little bit, but it's all good. Um, got it hooked up last night around midnight. Took it up and down the street. That's stoplight way on down there you can see it over the roof of that car but yeah this motor feels extremely good it's a lot more peppy than my old one because i'm sure it's because this one is a little bit younger <laughs> i can't talk um it's only got 123,000 miles versus the 209,705 that one had and i haven't even this one hasn't even been a mile yet since it's been in this truck so everything's pretty much hooked up uh that one, that's not really hooked up. And the uh, TPS sensor, that thing is like kind of split apart and broken in two pieces. Uh, so this truck doesn't really, or the motor doesn't really know uh, where it wants to idle. But I'll go and start up for you guys. I just let it warm up, make sure everything's good to go. But so it's already at normal running temperature, but she's just purring like a little kitten. Yeah, it's going to idle a little bit high. Normally, it should idle at around 680. 680 is about where it should idle. But since it's the TPS sensor is messed up, the little, uh, the little uh, fail feature that this thing has, that it will bump the idle up a little bit higher so it doesn't sit there and like cam blow like one of those uh, fake cam Mustangs where they pull the uh, vacuum lines out. It would have been cool, though. I'd like to hear this thing sound like it has a little bit of a lobe to it, but whatever uh, check engine lights on for an OTS sensor that sensor and something to do with the AC probably because it has no pressure in it right now since I had to depressurize it to take the lines off and all that stuff but yeah uh, ignore all the fluid back here that was just fluid that dumped down the bed of my truck but he's just purring like a little kitten at this point very good little sounding motor so there's a few things I gotta do to it still. I gotta put the hood back on, gotta put a, the bumper back on, put the console back in, and should be good to go after that, that. And I put the new sensors on it. Yeah, 209,705 miles. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this little series, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And once I have everything wrapped up and fixed, uh, I'll take it up for a test drive and show you guys how it's doing and keep you guys updated uh, Oh funny thing yesterday uh, The reason it doesn't have a fan shroud on it is because when I wrecked this thing a few weeks ago uh, It basically uh, destroyed the uh, fan shroud and uh, Basically, I, I don't know if this one sits a little bit lower or what but the fan shroud or no The fan was hitting the fan shroud and when we first started up it sounded like a rod knock and I'll probably upload that video too because I don't have a laptop. I can't put like two videos into one anymore. But <laughs> yeah, it sounded just like a rod knock. We were pretty scared for the first like two or three minutes or so. But yeah, uh, I might upload that. Well, I'll uh, see you guys later. I gotta clean up this freaking mess in here. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe for more. And uh, see you guys next time.